congratulations to Patrick Ian Polk, who was like one of my favorite independent directors. Like I've been following his career for a long time. I think over, I think he's been making movies for like two decades, right? Because he first came out with Punks, which he's made so many different versions of that damn movie. Like with Punks, we had Noah's Ark, we've had The Skinny. It's always kind of been that format of a group of gay friends and, you know, the drama that happens. I really wish I could, there was a way to get punks like on a streaming service or DVD or a digital download because I definitely would love to own that movie. But anyway, this comes exclusively from Gay Magazine, so shout out to them. So world-renowned film director and writer Patrick Ian Polk will be honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award tonight, actually. Um, at the second annual I Am Awards Black Tie Gala in D.C. The cast of Noah's Ark, which includes Daryl Stevens, Christopher Vincent, um, Doug Spearman, Rodney Chester. When did, since when did he start going by Christopher Vincent? And that's um, Ricky. I never knew he went by Christopher, but anyway. Or is that him? Or am I getting it confused? Because I know his, I believe his last name was... Um, Vincent. Well, anyway, so Doug Spearman, Rodney Chester, and Jensen Atwell will reunite to be honored during the award ceremony. After over a two-decade-long career in the industry, Polk's legacy will be honored, notably for his body of work that includes creating the iconic series Noah's Ark, his groundbreaking Sundance-winning film Punks, as well as his work on the hit shows and films P-Valley, Being Mary Jane, The Skinny, and Blackbird. The awards will be hosted by actor Nico Anon, who played as y'all know, Uncle Clifford from P-Valley, and international ballroom icon Jack Mizrahi. Speak Out's founder Antonio Driver exclusively tells Gay Magazine that he is excited for the cast to be under one roof. And yeah, I'm actually excited for this. I remember hearing, did I hear something another? And I hope this is true. Remember, well, I don't know if y'all remember because I know a lot of y'all didn't see the show, so I'm gonna bring it up. On an episode of Real, Real Friends of WeHo with, um, oh my God, what's that boy name? I just drew a blank. <laughs> it happens. Um, Y'all can remind me. You can remind me, production. Um, who was the, who was the damn queen? I mean, not he wasn't a queen because, you know, he would have a problem being called the queen. But the gay character, you know, the actor from, from Insecure. I don't know why I forgot his damn name. But anyway, so he had a scene with Patrick Ian Polk, and they were talking about how, like, Noah's Ark, and they were doing a Noah's Ark movie. And I'm like, how long ago was this film? Was this, like, the Zoom thing that they did? Or are we actually getting another Noah's Ark movie? That's what I'm curious about, because um, it's definitely needed. Like, I feel like there's a huge void that's missing in the industry where it's just, like, we need more... LGBTQ content featuring black people. Am I black? I mean black gay men. <clears throat> or you can mix it up black and Latino. It don't just need to be no, but just anybody making those type of shows. So it's it's definitely a void that we need. And um, I also want to shout out Maurice Jamal, who I heard passed away um, this past.